What's up everybody? It is the fifth Java tutorial. This is Andrew and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about math operators. So we're going to start actually bringing in some numbers and different things that Java can do. So if you are familiar with Java, I'm sure that you know that variables can be integers, it can be strings, all different types of data types. Now if it's math, your, um, your software Java, it can actually perform math as well. So let's declare our variables here. And we'll just have first number. And we'll set that to five. And then we will have second number. And we'll set that to 10. Now, what Java can do is it can take those numbers and actually you can add, subtract, multiply, divide, and also there's another one, modulus. So, let's go over that. So we have our print statement here, which is gonna output whatever I put into the parameters here. Now, if we put first number, that's obviously gonna output five onto the screen. Pretty simple. But what if we put plus second number? Now, if you'll remember right, from my earlier tutorials, plus was used for when you're concatenating different variables and strings. Now for strings, what that's gonna do is literally bring them together, like smash the left and the right one together and now they're one. But with an integer or um, like a double, it uses this as math. So it's not concatenation anymore when you're using integer variables. This is actually gonna add these two together. So when we have first number plus second number, that's gonna literally be five plus 10. So what it will output it's going to be 15, just like that. Now, this is actually going to be math instead of concatenation. So when the same thing applies, you can use minus. Going to run it again. Same thing applies, minus 5. Multiplication. Division. And that's one thing that you'll see as, um, see how like, well obviously five divided by 10 isn't zero, but since it's an integer data type, it must also output an integer data type. So, and if you remember, we can't have decimals or fractions as integers. Now, if we actually change these to doubles, then you'll have that. You'll have the decimal and you'll have the fraction, we, 0.5. We'll change those back to integers. Now, the last one I wanted to show you is modulus. So the modulus is actually used with a percent sign. And what modulus does is it takes the first number, divides it by the second number, and then gives the remainder of what's left. So say we have 25 and we have 20 as our second number. So this is literally gonna say 25 modulus 20. So what it does is it divides 25 by 20 and then gives the remainder as the, as the output of what's left. So 25 divided by 20 is one with a remainder of five. So what it's gonna output is five. Does that make sense? Because it just gives the remainder and that's it. So it's, it's used like if you're trying to find like an odd number, you can divide it by two and if it doesn't divide evenly, it's an 
odd number. All right, I hope that helped. It's a quick short video on math operators and I will see you in the next tutorial.